What legacy do you want to leave behind? Do you will leave a legacy, whether you like it or not. Can you tell your neighbor what you like to be remembered for? Think of something. <laughs> Let me tell you why I'm forcing you to think. The time to prepare for your legacy is not the time when you're about to die. You prepare your legacy now. When I was studying in seminary, my professor asked me to bring my tombstone. Okay, my tombstone at that time was like a cartoon paper. We are all asked in our class to bring our future tombstone. In the class, our, our professor said, now imagine you are dead. What will people say about you? So I close my eyes. Close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Imagine now uh, you're in a funeral parlor. I want you to imagine your body is in the casket. Are you now imagining? And your family members are going in front. Are you imagining? And they're going to say something about you. Are you imagining? All right. What will they say? Think. What will they say? Listen. What they say is one thing. What you want them to say is another thing. But the most important, what will God say? What will God say about you? And my friend, you need to prepare for this. Because you do not know when you're going to meet the Lord. You do not know when you're going to die. Nobody knows. But I guarantee you, 100 years from now, none of you will be seated in the same place. I guarantee you, 100 years from now, none of us will be here. The way to prepare, the time to prepare, is not when you're about to die. It's now. The way you live today is the legacy you will live. Are you thinking? You see, many Christians don't think. And by not thinking, you don't even know whether you are a Christian or you are not a Christian. You have never examined your own life. As Plato once said, the unexamined life is a useless life.